way too young, way too young. Um, and I went on birth control shortly after because they were just so, oh my gosh, the sun just came in and I'm just like so washed out. <laughs> I am starting off the vlog today. I have been waiting for Caleb to get home all day long. He uh, left around 8 a.m. this morning to go with his dad and work on some car stuff. Um, some long-awaited car stuff that we've been putting off. Oh, the sun just left. That's okay. Um, so yeah, so I am just kind of been waiting here. I got ready and I, like, I thought he was going to be home like hours ago, so I've just been waiting. Also, I am filming on our like our DSLR right now and I'm doing like the setup that I see some vloggers do um, just because it gives like a better quality video than our little like point and shoot camera but this is what it looks like like it is so heavy I'm like <gasps> I can like I'm gonna drop it I swear but I'll show you in the mirror so it's like really big and heavy and I don't know if I can do it like generally Caleb will hold on to it but it's so heavy and hard to hold um, but yeah, so if you notice that the quality changes in the video, it might be because my arms just got way too tired and I decided to change. But yeah, also on that note, I am wearing the cutest shirt ever today. It's Mickey Mouse! <laughs> it's so cute, I love it. I am a huge Disney fan, like obsessed. Like my very favorite Disney movie of all time is Pocahontas and I just love Disney. Like if I'm sad or sick or something, like a Disney movie is definitely on. Let me know in the comments below if you are a Disney fan and what your favorite like classic Disney movie is. Um, Cause like I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. <laughs> So the other day I saw a comment asking kind of what symptoms um, of endometriosis that I had noticed, like now looking back um, on the kind of years, what kind of symptoms maybe kind of lead to think that endometriosis is something that I had. Um, like I said in the last video, I was pretty shocked to find out that I did have it. I wasn't actually expecting it, um, but that looking back on it, I kind of see like that I should have known that there were signs that would have told me. And so those signs, like the biggest one um, is TMI, but <laughs> kind of like heavy, big, painful periods. Basically, like the cramping would be so horrendous that I had to stay home from school for a day or two. Like it was pretty bad. Um, basically, I actually went on birth control when I was pretty young. I started my period when I was 11, like way too young, way too young. Um, and I went on birth control shortly after because they were just so, oh my gosh, the sun just came in and I'm just like so washed out. Okay, we're just gonna work with it. Um, yeah, so I went on birth control shortly after, like when I was 12 or something, because they were so heavy and horrible and that's so TMI, but it's the truth. The other thing is that I have had kind of a fair amount of ovarian cysts. Like I know they're fairly common, like people will have them um, throughout their lifetime. Um, I did once before, like when I was quite young, like, I don't know, like 18 or something, I had a cyst rupture and it was very, very painful, but nothing like came from it. Like we just kind of let it go on its own. And then obviously um, recently I had a, another cyst rupture um, when I was getting my emergency surgery to take my appendix out. So I have had quite a few ovarian cysts, which I think is um, from my doctor's, what he said, um, is one of the kind of symptoms. I know that that kind of lines up with PCOS as well, and I have asked if I could have PCOS, um, and they kind of said no. Like, obviously, I don't get tested for everything because I don't know why, but um, so far we don't believe I do have PCOS. So yeah, so those are just some of the kind of things that um, have led me to believe that endometriosis is definitely something that I probably should have known about earlier. 
The other thing is it is kind of hereditary and I did find out that my mom did have it. So it is something that was kind of passed down, I believe. Um, so yeah, so if you are kind of having some of those symptoms, I would definitely suggest that you consider getting looked at for that because it could definitely be something. Okay, since I am still waiting for Caleb to get home, I figured maybe I should do some chores around the house. So this bed, I am going to make it, which I haven't done in a while because I've been lazy, but I'm going to make it and yeah. gone for so long and it sucked because I missed you a little bit. I missed but, you. Good. We're not supposed to be away on weekends. No, but you're back. So we drove like 20 minutes to the mountains. We live really close to the mountains and we're just gonna do some photography, maybe take some nice clips, some video clips and do some stuff like that. Um, seeing that we don't have a lot of extra money to spend, we have to be creative in the way that we spend our time and kind of entertain ourselves. So this is what we're doing a lot. Sorry if you're kind of tired of all the same like fall footage, but we love it and I'm obsessed with fall and it's our favorite season. So and it lasts really like two sure weeks. So <laughs> take advantage. Yeah. yeah. Um, so one thing quickly before we kind of get out of the car, I wanted to say a huge congratulations to Phil and Alex. Their adopted baby girl was just born and she is so, so cute and I am so excited for them. We are so happy for them and just really excited to kind of watch it all unfold. They have a YouTube channel and um, some of you might know them, but if you don't, I'm going to leave their link um, here so that you guys can go check them out. Go send them some love. Um, this is a big time for them and we're just really happy for them. And honestly, like it's kind of cool to watch because it like ignited a feeling in me like a little bit of jealousy but like a little bit like obviously really happy but a little bit of jealousy which I thought was cool because it kind of showed me that the adoption route is something that I definitely am interested in and I yeah like it's really cool it's re really fun to see well it's it fun all. to see what we might be going through soon as well so yeah, so definitely go check them out. Subscribe, show them some love. Um, we're very, very happy for them. And yeah, let's go venture out. Get some sweet, sweet footage.
There you go. There you go. Eat it all. What? You can't film my kitchen. It's a disaster. Don't film <laughs> it. Is that a better angle? <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies today. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fabulous. And Yum. yeah. I wanted to know, guys, what you think about this idea, okay? You see my hair, yeah? See this hair? I really want to change, and I was considering dyeing my hair. I was thinking about dyeing it lighter, like maybe some blonde, but I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, like, my hair, if you can tell, it has kind of like red tinge to it. My dad is like a full redhead. Whoa, zoom in. So I just don't know if it would look good on me, but think about doing that, maybe cutting it a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. It's such a hard decision. Like changing your hair is the biggest thing you can ever do. Like it's so scary. So this is kind of like what I was thinking. I don't know if it would look good on me or not. Can you see? Mm, it's kind of bright, but I think. Oh, I can turn the brightness down, yeah. Turn the brightness down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet, but Ooh, maybe that. Just... Maybe, 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 maybe. Put it next to me. What do you think? I think it looks like it's gonna be hot. Damn, Daniel. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna pull off any hairdo that you wanna pull off. You have to say that. I wanna say that. Okay, all done, all done. I feel uncomfortable. Oh, you I don't know what to do. So I don't know what to do. Leave in the comments below if you think that would be a good idea. Look at Ellie over there. Look at her nose munching. It's so funny. She's been home for hours, but she like only will eat when we're here. She like <laughs> doesn't want to like dare do it while she's home alone. She's like, watch me, guys. Watch here. Listen to me munch. I just wanted to let you know I am eating. So now that you're home, you there's proof. Yeah. Okay, let's put the groceries away and make chocolate chip Yay! cookies! Alright guys, Ayla has finished the cookies. I'm just editing, you know, first half of this video actually for tomorrow. And we are gonna take a break and eat these delicious chocolate chip cookies. So Ayla? Yeah? Are you excited? I'm so excited. It's been so long. Look at these bad boys. They're really good. <laughs> Um, I'll link them down, the Pinterest pin down below if you're interested. They're probably the best cookies ever. We always, always use this recipe because it's just so good. But on that note, we are going to say goodnight. Thank you guys for watching. We are excited for the next video because we will have our update with, um, kind of our appointment with our fertility yeah. specialist. So there will be some good info on that one. So definitely stay tuned. And something else exciting as well is happening for us this week, and we'll tell you guys about that as soon as it's happened. So, yeah. thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like, a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!